Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly lo uh, general reading, excuse me, your monthly general reading for June of 2021. Yeah, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So, excuse me, general reading, Aries. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is not, this is a reading for a lot of big collective of people, okay? So not everything is going to resonate for everybody. Yeah, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, could be talking to a cross watcher here. So if what I'm narrating fits into your life, but it fits with the roles reversed, then let that happen, okay? Um, also, keep in mind, it's a general reading, but it's also a timeless reading. Yeah, this is a message, a monthly message, right? So maybe it is for this month. Maybe it is exactly what you're going through right now. Or it could be something that you went through in the past that you're, that you're now ready to hear a message about, or you're ready to do some sort of further processing on, or this could be something coming on down the pipeline in the near future, okay? Just keep that in mind. Take it as it resonates. I am available for private readings. If you'd like to get one with me, go ahead and check the description box below. The link to my email and all of the readings, well, some of the readings that I offer is available right there in the description box below. Also, if you would like to get some extra content from me, including extra daily content uh, in the form of astrology and extra monthly content, plus a whole plethora backlog of really great content, check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well. All right, Aries, let's get into this. Um, you're, uh, there's some sort of commitment that's coming to an end. The, the loudest thing that I've been hearing in terms of this Aries is a marriage. But obviously that's not going to resonate for everyone. For some of you, it is a marriage. For, other you, for others of you, it's a long-term commitment. Uh, okay, for some of you, I heard it's a long-term assignment. Which makes sense because I'm getting all of that from the Hierophant here. Um, and the Hierophant is an institutionalized energy. So it could be marriage. Uh, it could be like police institution. It could be university. Okay, so and it also could be your job. But this is coming to an end, Aries. You have the ten. You have the uh, the Hierophant here with the Ten of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Okay. Uh, and what I feel like for you is that um, you've sufficiently ended. I, look, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be completely real with you, Aries. This Hierophant energy feels like a tyrant. A very controlling, manipulative, self-indulgent, um, self-gratifying, tyrannical type of energy. But you're finally free and clear of it, is what I'm hearing. So ultimately, you're going to be very soon, or you are. Like It just feels like... It feels like you have a solid foundation within yourself, Four of Wands, to help you move away from this situation. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Five of Cups is underneath that, but then you also have the Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot. Look, Aries, move forward with where your heart is guiding you to move, okay? You are self-sufficient. You are loving, you are caring, you are a nurturing mother for some of you. I mean, quite frankly, no, regardless of who you are, and even whether I'm talking to the Aries or the cross watcher, whomever it is that needs to move forward with their heart's desire, with the direction that their heart is moving them in, you got this. You know who you are. And you definitely, at this point, you definitely know who you are, Four of Wands, in comparison to who this is, the Hierophant, whatever this represents for you. And that's why I feel like the cards are saying you are ready to go. This thing is, this shit is completed, Ten of Swords, and, it's, and you are ready to move on, move forward, move forward from rough waters to calmer waters, Six of Swords, okay? Okay, Aries, I'm gonna leave that there. We're gonna reshuffle here a little bit, get this going, and then we'll give this five shuffles and we'll get into the rest of your reading, yes? Okay. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, message for the month of June 2021. Here we go, Aries. 
Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Alrighty, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. June of 2021. Let's get it, y'all. Cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy. We are starting you off with the Knight of Cups again. Aries, baby, follow your heart. Your heart is leading you to the right place here. Okay. It's necessary for you to do this at this point. Oh, yes. Underneath the Knight of Cups. Holy shit. Is the Six of Swords again. But then underneath the Six of Swords, boop, Queen of Swords. Divorce. We could definitely be talking divorce here. Overall energy underneath that is the High Priestess. Now, granted, Aries, you may not know exactly where you're heading, but you know you got to get the fuck up out of here, honey. It is closing time. You ain't got to go home, but you cannot stay here. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you something right now. You cannot stay here. It's time for you to go. And this is not a bad thing. We're not saying this to you because we're angry with you or 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 it's some sense of like punishment. No, baby, it's time to go. <laughs> you are sufficient. You're ready. You're healed. You're ready to move on to the healing in some cases. Okay. This is a higher awareness. This is a higher, this is your higher self. This is the universe saying to you, baby, it is time to go. Pack up your bags. Put your cute little outfit on with your nice shoes and your hat and get to stepping. Follow where your heart is leading you towards, okay? Ooh. All right. First set, uh, first half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Aries. We have, damn, this guy again. Now, we do have counterparts showing up because here's the high priestess, okay? She is the counterpart to the Hierophant. And Aries, I kind of feel like you're, you're graduating a little bit. The Hierophant is coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. Good. I like this, Aries, because this is saying to me that out of the struggle with this Hierophant energy, you've received a new opportunity a new cycle, a new chance to begin again, um, a new seed that is ready to be planted into the ground. Because I was hearing with the Hierophant, uh, higher learning for you, but, the, but I really feel like you have learned a lot, a whole lot that is actually providing you with a brand new opportunity to really strive and move forward outside of whatever this situation is, okay? So in terms of that, this situation has been a struggle, okay? But you gained something from it. You truly did. Even if it's not monetary, however, it is the Ace of Pentacles, so it, it can represent um, something that is tangible. So it can represent money. It can represent some sort of physical possession, like maybe a house, maybe a car, uh, a deed to something, or I don't know. It could be ask some sort of financial asset or something. But also in a figurative sense, uh, ex uh, sense, excuse me, in a figurative sense, it can represent a seed that is ready to be planted into the ground to grow to grow something, some new form of fruit or sustenance or whatever for yourself. Okay, and you got that from this challenging experience in which you learned a lot. A lot, 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 Aries, yeah? Second set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, you have judgment. Yes, baby, it's time to go. But it's time to go because the wisdom has set in. The wisdom is there. You're ready to move on beyond this circumstance, beyond this situation. 
judgment is coupled with the se what did I say? The seven of pentacles. This is representing the reality of the fact that there's nothing left to be harvested here. The one coin that is harvestable is already on the ground, ready to be picked up and moved on with, okay? Actually, depending on how you look at this, the next harvestable coin is on a brand new plant. Look at that. Shoot, is it? You see? I don't know if you guys can see that, but, and if I get it too close, my camera is not gonna, not gonna, um, focus but it, it there is there is a lily is it a lily or whatever it looks like a lily but there's another flower that's growing right here and this golden pentacle right here is either resting on that flower or growing from it depending on your perspective so either way this is saying that judgment is calling you the alarm clock is going up it's time to move on because it's time to move on to the next phase there's nothing left to learn here you've gotten it all Gotten it all already, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading out, Aries, ooh, is the, the devil. But wait a second now. The devil is represented here or is representing your inability or refusal to let go or your feelings of being chained to something. But check it out, Aries. The beauty of the devil is homeboy and homegirl don't even have that anklet cla uh, clasped around their ankle. They are straight up free to go. At any moment they want, they can turn around and walk away from this. And yet the devil is okay. The devil is sophisticated enough to twist things to make people think that they're bound, that they can never get away. Obviously, we can see that's bullshit, right? <laughs> Again, those clasps, ankle clasps, are not even, they're not even closed. They're straight up open and not on their ankles. They can walk away from this at any time that they want, okay? Keep that in mind. That's in your challenge. So it's, you have the ability to walk away. It's even time for you to walk away. And yet, in some cases, I'm hearing you're letting your fear of the unknown stop you. But also, you're letting this institutionalized energy, whatever this may represent for you, even if it's just societal norms, societal standards, and like societal or public opinion, which is dangerous enough, but that is being used as a reason to not let go. And that's why the devil is showing up here in your challenge in the first half. The devil is coupled with the ace of swords, though. The truth shall set you free, Aries. Not these lies, not this ego, not this maybe even codependency represented by the devil. The truth. In order to face this challenge, you must face the truth, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading is the hanged man, Aries. This is another form of confirmation saying that you've reached the awareness that is necessary to leave this bullshit behind, okay? The hanged man is coupled with Ooh, the King of Pentacles here. Okay. Um, quite honestly, quite frankly, some of you are, are about to come into some serious material abundance. Because I was kind of seeing that with the Ace of Pentacles. And now that the King of Pentacles is here, who represents a strong sense of financial abundance, I feel like that's what you're coming into. <laughs> Maybe even a settlement out of court. Okay. But what the King of Pentacles is really also representing here is a sense of being solid, stable, secure, and sturdy within your own self, knowing who you are, being activated in your true sense of self. And it's this 
challenging situation or this sense of um, stagnancy represented by the hanged man, inability to move forward, feeling stuck, or just the chains and binds of this relationship or this circumstance for you has caused you to reach a different perspective I heard a different level of perspective that is making you much more solid within yourself in the truth of who you are. Now, I do want to say the King of Pentacles does represent Taurus officially. It could represent any Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but officially it represents Taurus. So does the Hierophant. All right. So you could have Taurus in your chart. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be a Taurus cross-watching for an Aries. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you guys, given what's coming out here, I wouldn't necessarily recommend what's coming through for the, uh, uh, what came through for the Taurus reading because it, the Taurus reading for this month was about a relationship that spirit was quite convincing that they can trust in. Maybe you're a cross-watcher and you're involved with a Taurus, or, or you're involved with someone, but you're kind of falling for a Taurus, and maybe that would resonate for you. But again, take it with a grain of salt. I'm not really sure. But I really felt very, and I don't normally do that, but I felt very guided, we'll say, to point, to, <clears throat> to point out the two representations of Taurus here, okay? All right. Second half of your reading, Aries, first set of surrounding energies, completion. I did Aquarius, Capricorn, and now I'm doing you today. And the Ten of Pentacles has come out for each and every one of you. But it makes sense, doesn't it? The cycle is complete. Not only is it complete, but the lesson is learned. You're ready to move forward. Again, this is another representation of family, of longevity. This could be, um, again, we could be talking about a marriage. We also could be talking about anything that has been longstanding. So even just a longstanding project or a longstanding commitment. Okay. But now that cycle is time. It's over. It's done, honey. Okay. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the sun. Okay. Leo officially entering into the circumstance we also have capricorn with the devil but anyway libra with the six with the ace with the queen of swords excuse me <laughs> ten of pentacles here and the sun is representing the illumination around the cycle that you have gained i also heard the experience that you've gained and the victory that's coming from that everything's going to be okay aries or cross watcher or whatever I am also picking up that this illumination that's come through this, the completion of this cycle is undeniable. It's blatant. It's obvious. It's as bright as the sun, okay? I'm hearing things like being able to move on passionately, equipped with what it is you need to get to handle the future. This is a beautiful reading for you, Aries. I really like this, or at least this part of it. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles with the Sun. Your second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, excuse me, is the Three of Wands. Still, still very much on your path. Now you do have a unique opportunity at this point, having come, having come so far, you do get the unique opportunity to say, okay, what's next? What's coming up next and what do I really want next? Okay, this is a this feels like an express opportunity to really shape and mold your path for your own self as you move forward here. Three of Wands is coupled with Ooh, the Two of Cups. Now, now this could represent a relationship. So for some of you, there could be a new relationship that's coming through. You could be heading towards a new relationship that's much better for you. Much more in alignment with you. Deeply in alignment with you. However, the other thing I'm also picking up on with the Two of Cups is this deep alignment within yourself. Because often for me as a reader, if the Two of Cups does not represent um, a, a relationship with someone else, a relationship, it, it represents the bond that you have with yourself. 
And, and, and that really kind of supports what I was picking up on with the Three of Wands initially. Whatever, whatever cycle is completed here for you, whatever situation or circumstance has completed here for you, the wisdom and the knowledge that you've gained, the understanding and illumination that you've gained has helped you form a better bond with yourself, has helped you come to a better you, harmonized union within yourself so that now you are at much, you are not at odds with yourself anymore is what I'm hearing. Or at least you're, you're less at odds than you may have been in the past. And that's giving you a unique perspective to really take greater control. And this is why you have this sense of greater control of your path moving forward. It's because the bond, the bond that you have with your strep, with yourself has been strengthened over this cycle or over this process that's now coming to completion. Okay. Your challenge here in the second half of your reading Aries is the magician standing in the master manifester seat. Ooh, okay. Quite frankly, I don't know why. I'm having a hard time picking up why this would be a challenge for you other than other than the fact that there's some sort of fear-based reality that you're still working in. And maybe this is the people around you. Maybe this is what you're trying to get out of. Okay, I get that. But if it's coming from you, I don't quite understand why, Aries. The magician is coupled with the moon. I don't think you understand why either. Illusion. Fear. Fear of the unknown, I just heard. Mm, okay. okay, for some of you, Aries, your challenge here is to manifest secretly. Don't let, it, don't let anyone know what you're up to. Keep this to yourself for now, at the moment, or maybe just around certain people. Again, if you're surrounded by a group, uh, or if, you're, if you find yourself transitioning out of a fear-based reality, I would recommend not talking about your manifestations to the people that you're actively trying to get away from. Because that it feels like they're only going to work to tear you down. And I'm not saying they're bad people. I'm not saying they're trying to sabotage you. Of course, <clears throat> of course, some of them could be, could very have, have the very, very strong, could in fact have the intention to stop you in your tracks because of like jealousy or some shit. But for the most part, it's because of the sense, their sense of reality because of the way they see the world. And again, that does not make them bad people, but it could still be a hindrance to you, okay? So choose wisely who you who you tell your, at least in this environment. I don't want you to, to, to build a complex where you you never talk about your, your manifestations or whatnot with your friends or your family or the people that are closest to you, people that would actually support you. Uh, it, it just feels for a very specific number of you, whatever is complete, don't keep it to yourself for now, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries. Ooh, way! Look at that. The fool. Yes, ma'am. Taking that leap of faith. Very Aries energy. Okay. But I but you just look, you just, I mean, the confidence on this in the person's face is just like beautiful. And I feel like that's where you are right now, Aries, okay? The fool is coupled with. Ah, yes. The Knight of Swords. Again, another form of Aries energy. However, Swords does represent um, uh, the air signs officially, but I do still feel like this is you, Aries. You're going to have to fight towards taking a leap of faith. You're going to have to fight to cut yourself free. And that is what we were seeing here with the Devil and the Ace of Swords in the... Um, in the challenge for you in the first half of the reading, but honestly, Aries, it's nothing that you can't handle. Okay. All right, Aries. Oh, uh, we're going to close your reading with the Gaia Oracle Oracle as well. We use the Gaia Oracle for uh, Aquarius, but I'm being called to use this for you. So let's do that. Five shuffles. Yeah. One. 
two. Three for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2021. Four. And five. All righty, Aries. Let's get your closing message here. You have one card here, Aries. That is card number 40, yin yang, creating harmony through balance. Ooh, I turned right to it. Holy shit. Okay, <laughs> here we go. There is currently disharmony in some area of your life due to your refusal to accept certain aspects of your personality. Nothing about you is bad. Every trait or quality you possess serves a world a worthwhile purpose, worthwhile purpose, excuse me. Moreover, any trait or quality that you think you lack, you actually have. Make a list of all the things about you that you don't like. Then think about how each of these things serves you and others in some way. Next, make a list of all the things you do like about yourself. It is natural to believe that your positive qualities undoubtedly serve both you and others. However, for every perceived positive, there is also a negative. Now think about the negative aspects of your perceived positivities. This process takes a bit of time and requires an open heart and mind. It is definitely a worthwhile experience, for in the end, you will hopefully see that nothing is actually good or bad. Every aspect of you serves both you and others. Owning, accepting, and loving what is without wanting it to change will lead you to experience a happier, healthier, and more harmonious life. Now, I feel like, Aries, that is directly connected to this energy. The Two of Cups and the Three of Wands, okay? This is you balancing, harmonizing, coming to a deeper scent, uh, sense of harmony and union within yourself, Two of Cups. That is leading you further down your path, three of wands, okay? All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. If you would like to get a reading with me, a personal reading with me, check the description box below. Also, if you'd like to join me on Patreon, I highly recommend that you do so. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link to that can also be found in the description. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of July. Yes? Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>